Okay, y'all. Um, so this is, let me show you where you guys probably left me here. Um, I didn't print or go forward. Um, this would probably work for me, but most likely I would totally, um, remove my scanned image or you also have the option of, I found it on here, typed it in. This is basically the image of it. So I'm going to save it. <clears throat> Photo frame. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it in and see if it, if it comes. Y'all excuse my husband. This is him playing the game. Uh, I guess I should have said, hey, I'm recording, but I didn't. So, okay, this is one of those images. Sometimes when you download from a place, so with them doing it like this, we're definitely going to need to bring in, let's get to our layers. We're going to need to bring in the background layer or you won't be able to see it. This is, in a way, this is kind of like sublimation because... The, like it doesn't print white basically so let's just park it there doesn't print white so what I'm gonna do is open up well not open up make our background visible I'm gonna then move it here this kind of gives you a better look at um what let's see what size did we make our rectangle you know what it's going to transform. Let's hit the width. You know what? I'm not going to do that because I didn't lock it in. Free transform. I'm going to. Oh, it is locked in. This just felt a little shaky. <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is create uh, or make this the same size. Actually, I'm going to. Yeah, I don't even see what I did with my layers. Let's move you over here so that I can find you. Okay. So on my layers, I'm going to go ahead and make this blank. Well, the cowboy part of it. And I basically could try to line these up. Edit, free transform, or just, oops, not that, scale. Scale, scale, scale. And these are about the same. Well, you know what? <clears throat> it's not. Oh, I forgot I didn't clean it up the best. So, actually, we're not going to worry about this. But in theory, you should be able to bring this in kind of match it up to the same size which I see how I kind of can but because I didn't really clean this image up the best that's probably where I am getting off a little bit so never mind that um back to our raw stuff I'm actually just going to use this for reference because I'm actually going to just print this rectangle back here so I'm gonna bring this down. Babe. And Lucius doesn't do this. I don't know what's the deal. And here comes the madness of the whole family. Um so I'm going to let's see, let's see. This is how I'm gonna do it. Alright, y'all. Enough plan. Bring this up for sure. Want this putting that in front. I'm going to create my clipping mask for the rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's happened. And this will kind of help me with positioning. And I'm going to scale remove. Okay, I'm back. I had to say, give the announcement, hey, I'm recording to try to finish this um so very quickly i don't know i'll say i'm gonna use a cowboy font actually i don't know if i want to say happy father's day mm -hmm. 
or 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 like no that's woman woman womanish um okay so this is this i'm going to bring down the opacity or opacity whatever you want to call it so that i can get my position in pretty good This is a good little spot. Well, I know that everything except. So this way you can rearrange your background and then rearrange the front. Let's see. When it comes to like subtle movements, I will go to my mouse and just um. I'll go to my mouse and just, not mouse, my keyboard and just arrow over a little bit. Okay. What do you think I should put on like your, like a frame for your dad or something? Happy Father's Day or Paw Paw or nothing. Mm -hmm. That was him. Mm -hmm. So what do you think I should say? Okay, nothing. But just like his frame, it'll be something that would go in his room, just like his door sign. Happy Father's Day all the time. And a little cowboy. It is cowboys, but you still have the area to put some wording in it. Yeah, I was thinking it. I'll just leave it. Change the color. No. Mm -mm. Are you? Uh, no, nah, but you you have been um uh... okay. I'll talk to you later. Basically, I'm recording. That's it. Oh, oh. What do you think? I said that. <laughs> I said that. First of all, you went on like a screaming tangent. Like, when do you ever go that hard on the game in the middle of the day? Just while ago, you were screaming, happy or something. You were doing something ridiculously loud. I'm still recording. Mm -mm. Sorry, uh, I have a preset. It's kind of dark. Um, I'm bringing this font in. I probably put my kid's name down here. Father's Day, something, something, something. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So let's see how this looks. Uh, I'm going back here to. Um, let's move this to the side so you can kind of visual, visually see your changes as you make them. I'm going to kind of you know, it's a little bit metallic. So I'm going to go there. That's okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna change my drop shadow. Bring it in a little heavier. Okay. Stand out from our background. Oh, this is down. Let's see. Distance. I really don't change the distance often. This really brings in the depth to me. Um, also, if you guys don't know, drop shadow is like one of my most favorite functions. Um, so this is how it would look. Hmm. Or should I do like a cheesy world's best or? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to change my overlay color. See. 
Actually, I'm not. I'm going to keep it metallic because then I don't want the blues to interfere. Hmm. I'm going to put my kids' names here. I'm going to give you the plus sign. This is also a part of some fonts allow you to use different characters. For example, so far, any of the punctuation that I've tried to use does not translate in this font. So um, that's something to be mindful of. I'll probably go back and <clears throat> see here it has the and and here it does not. That's fine. I'm actually going to put my kid's name in blue. So if you don't know, you just double click your your words, then you come to the top and you'll get like this little cursor or whatever. You really have options on it when it comes to that part. You can change your cursor preferences and stuff. I like it. So yeah, this is the blue we're rocking with. Uh let's get a look at it. Okay, and for those reasons, this is like leaving it. Let me show you. Moving that. This is why I put in outer glows and, you know, things like that. Let's see if we want to make it dark. Oh, see, something light like that is nice. So I'm just going to come in with like a different, um, just a different, probably like a impact. And just get an and from there. Oh shoot! Hold on. Control A and so that's gonna be the and that I'm sticking right here in the middle. So I'm gonna do that with both punctuation. So I'm gonna come in here, add some more space for this and. And kind of, and you can use your arrow like I am. Um, I'm actually going to connect these or put them at the same time to kind of make sure it's kind of centered. Let's bring this in just to let you know. I can see it now. I just move it over. Boom, right there. Oh, this is taking longer than I thought. So come here. I'm going to put the same outer glow on that so it's consistent. I'm going to move this to actually get a look at it. I think that looks great. I'm going to see if I want to just flatten this pawpaw. See if I can get a cover overlay to be darker. Um, in cover overlay, shoot, I don't need two cover overlays. Trying to get to it to change it. Oh, the charity. See if I can get something that makes this look similar to this color. It'll be difficult because I do have my um my font preferences and such already in. This probably would have been as close as it was gonna get, and I don't like that. So I'm just okay. Another another possibility is to change the color of our drop shadow so maybe let's see if we change it to to that mm -hmm. <gasps> excuse me you know what I might just take the effect all the way off make it the same color as this and just print it Okay, so this is, I guess, the design portion of it all. Let me get, let's, like, let's not turn all the effects off. Okay, what we want is not on here. I'm going to go with outer glow. Give it that same outer glow that the other ones have, which we love you, Papa. 
Okay, so this is really good. Just going to print. 